Hey Animus, guess what? What? The Overwatch beta came out this week. Yes. Yes, it did. Wait, how did you know? Is that a yes or a no? Oh my gosh, you really don't see it. See what? Oh, never mind. Genji is a very super mobile uh, character. He doesn't have a sprint, but he does have a sick dash that does damage over time. And he throws some dunks, some kunais like a boss. You can shoot all of them at one target, or you can spread them out between three targets. Which is, which is triple the awesome right? I feel an odd test. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get one. Let's get a little emoji out right now. Genji showing off. Sexy man. Sexy Attack man. Who's a sexy in man? Most of you may not know, but Genji is our katana wielding savior from the Metal Gear Solid series. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Don't hit the dislike button because that was a complete joke. Genji is actually from a clan called Shimada. And most of you may not know, but Genji and Hanzo, the bow wielding hero in Overwatch, move over Deadeye, actually are brothers um, through this whole series. Father is the leader of Shimada, and when he passes, the next person in line is the oldest son who actually becomes the leader, which is Hanzo. Sorry, Genji. Genji has sailed in all of his training. He actually surpassed his brother in all his training, but unlike his brother, he had no intentions in taking on his family's legacy. After their father passed away, Hanzo did become the next leader of the clan in line, but the elders of the clan did not like the fact that Genji would not help build the legacy that the clan has made so far. So because of this, unfortunately they had Hanzo kill his brother. I mean, we kind of see that before in an old anime. I'm not going to say anything, but you know. But the most crazy thing about all this is that he actually wasn't dead. The Overwatch leader found Genji barely breathing and ripped to shreds. So they brought him back to their headquarters where there they made a deal with him and they said, Genji, if you decide to help us annihilate the clan and overcome your clan, we will build your body back. Genji happily accepted because, I mean, who wouldn't? Your clan just tried to pretty much annihilate you um, and trade you and stab you in the back and even had your brother murder you. Um, I think any of us would. Actually, that sounds like somebody else we might know. Hmm. Um, but we're gonna find out. See if we, so, see if we can start strong. Go ahead and repel them bullets back. Oh, we might actually get murdered real quick. We gotta go. Thing about Genji, he doesn't take any damage. We gotta go, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> he doesn't take any damage. Well, he doesn't take damage well. Like, why are they all right here? Help us! How we get out of here? I'm just gonna run for it. Every man for himself, I'm gone. I am capturing the objective. <laughs> Try and stop me. Wait, are we capturing it? They capturing it. I don't know what's happening. Oh, we capturing it? I'm out. They after me. I see you. I see you. Let's go. Do something here. Oh, he, so he has your move. He goes invisible. I'm just gonna stay behind big guy. Big guys gonna keep us safe. Oh, nope, nope, not behind him anymore. Gotta go. <laughs> I am doing terrible with these kunais. Hey, got one. What's up? Got another one. Oh, is that what you want? Get slashed. Get slashed. This is whoa. You better bring your guns if you come in the wall, bro. Let's capture this objective. We started off a little rough, but we got this. Time to escort this payload. Let's go. Escort the payload. Yo, this shield man, this is the truth. Me and Biggie. He's called Big, I'm called Small, baby, Biggie Smalls. Alright, so since the enemies aren't surrounding us, our job is gonna be kinda like to flank around people. Get some behind the back. Uh oh, that, that was the wrong way to flank. We out. I'm just gonna use my 
my reversal. I'm out. He's gonna try to kill me. Not gonna play that game. That's why Genji is amazing, man. You can get in and out real fast and then get back to your teammates for that support. Oh, snap. What's the trap? Help! Get slashed. Get sapped. Come here. Come here, big boy. Get that. Get killed. Did you know that this game is set 60 years from today? It's kind of like iRobot 2. You know where humans make this awesome technology and all these cool looking robots only to have it backfire in their face. Of course you knew that was going to happen, right? The robots are called Omnix and they go all Terminator on a Schwarzenegger on this and they create their own robotic army. How surprising. This army was created for one purpose. Well, technically the purpose that all bad guys have in any game genre or any movie or TV show or anything you watch. Pretty much. And that was to eradicate the whole human race. And the dinosaurs thought they had it bad. <laughs> and thus, the world needed heroes. Because the Avengers were too busy making part three of their movie. <laughs> so they called up the Overwatch to come and save the day. <laughs> oh yeah. Team Iron Man. Wrecking them fools. We wrecking them fools. Oh, we got a good point right now. So it looks like that's the healer back there in the back. She is a healer. I am missing all my throws. This is super terrible. I have my ult. Uh, I'm going to activate it and actually go down there. So let's do this right now. That's, oh, don't you run. Come here. Get slashed. Who's next? Who else wants some of this monk? Yeah. Oh, I'm all out. Well, I got one with it. Not a bad start. <laughs> Better than getting none at all, right? I'm about to get this kill right here. Don't worry. Look at that. There he is. Come here. Get slashed. Take that poison over. Take that damage over time. Reflect them bullets. Five player kill streak. Let's go. No dying for me. No dying today. Uh, we should be escorting. I don't know why. No, nobody's out here escorting, so I'm going to try to escort this for a little bit. Our teammates back down here. That's the healer. We need to take that healer out. Don't let that healer leave. Don't give, don't give her the chance. Don't give her the chance. She's not going out. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Give her them cheeks. Give her them cheeks. Give her them cheeks. Come here. There we go. Headshot. Why, using these kunais. Oh. What? Well, you're probably wondering, why on earth are the Overwatch fighting each other then if they're supposed to be like these superheroes who are supposed to save the day? Well, that's the easy part, but not, not really. Overwatch was actually commanded by a soldier named Reyes, but another soldier named Morrison actually came in and put the team together as a as a unit and found where their strengths were and actually contributed in having the Overwatch be so successful in beating these robots. After the robotic crisis was defeated, the government decided to promote Morrison to the commander and drop Reyes down. And you know, because of that, Reyes went off a G on everybody and just was super jealous of Morrison. Reyes was so upset that this decision actually broke Morrison and Reyes' friendship, which then at that time actually broke Overwatch in half, where half of them joined Reyes and half of them joined Morrison. And Captain America and Iron Man thought they were having relationship problems. If you're having robot problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems and Iron Man ain't one. Hit me! What just hit me? I gotta see what happened. I was doing work. Oh, something came through the wall and slapped me. What is that? Alright. Gotta be careful. Didn't know this happened. Got our, got our first death. That's not terrible. Genji is the boss. Looks like we're trying to get look like we're trying to get burned right now. Oh coming to get that cut. Reflect that bullet. Hide on that man's trail. Hide on that man's trail. Come here. Take that damage. Take that damage. Take the damage. <laughs> oh we out. I saw them coming down. Come on, reload, reload. There we go. Pluck him, pluck him. Oh, he's just gonna stay up there like I like he didn't feel me shooting him in the face. That's cool. Y'all making my job easy. As soon as I see him, we activate our ult. I hit that by accident, but that's okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get Oh, he used his invisibility. Come here, get work. Get work. Nope, nope, block them bullets. Get work! <laughs> block them bullets to get work, bro. 
Good work. Let's go. Come on, Big Daddy. Come on, Biggie. I need your help. Just don't get. Oh, she ran into the safe zone. I'm just gonna run back. This is game. We made it. Call that game, baby. Ah. Uh, uh. Game, baby. What's up? And hey, we played a great game. We went on two five kill streaks with no trouble. Um, we do have our player of the game here, Mr. Shadow himself. Probably one of my favorite features of the game. For one, the music, and then just watching like how things work. I think he's the guy. Did I kill him? No, I actually I did not kill him. That was pretty dope. That was an epic move. Did we make it to the top? Oh, uh -huh. look, we're up there. Animus J, 11 eliminations, 39% kill percentage. I got 39% of our kills on our team. We're going to give it to Mr. Kill Streak of 10. Which is super dope. Nice to see us sitting at the top. Started from the bottom. Now we here, baby. Thank you for joining us today. And remember, I post new videos every Monday and Friday to give you information about games that you might be playing. If you enjoyed the video, leave a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, think about subscribing. Hey, you said that pretty well. Oh, well, geez. Thanks, Animus. Don't get too excited. Once again, thanks for stopping by. And we will see you next time. Animus J out. Imagine the Lancer without a chainsaw. That would be like having M&M's without the M on it. It would be like chocolate Skittles. Who wants chocolate Skittles? You want M&M's. But there's no M's. When you eat it, you just think you're eating Skittles. And it completely blows your mind.